Hi guys, Mama Beach here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a review on this new style from Coach, the Lori Shoulder Bag. I just picked this up from Coach Retail Store and it is priced at $398. I didn't wasn't able to get it on sale because it is such a new style. It's not been included in any of the sales yet, but I did use Rakuten to get cash back. So I'm gonna put the link below so you can sign up for that if you haven't already. Um, it definitely helps soften the blow of buying things at full retail price, which you guys know I hate doing because I'm all about a good deal and a sale. But this bag is just so popular, especially in this really unique orange color. I wanted to go ahead and pick it up because I don't want it to sell out and to miss out on it. And I wanted to be able to show it to you guys here on my channel because it has been so popular. So without further ado, let me go through the features of this bag. And I'm going to show you the layout, which we are all super familiar with from Coach. I'm going to show you what fits. And then I'm going to show you some different mod shots with uh, with adjusting the straps at different heights so you can get different looks with this style. Okay, so let's just go over the features first of all. This color is called Canyon, and it is a beautiful burnt orange color. It's really not a scary orange. I know people get scared of orange. Um, it's a very polarizing color. This is so neutral. In person, it's almost so deep that it looks saddle brown to me. It's very, very neutral orange would just be fantastic for fall, but I would honestly wear it all year round because I feel like it's so, it leans so much brown, lean to, leans towards so much the brown side that it would be very neutral with any outfit. Um, as you can see, it's mostly constructed in their pebbled leather, which is so nice and squishy. It's not stiff at all, but it still has structure to it. You can see it's sitting up perfectly fine on my hands. I don't have this stuffed at all. It's completely empty. Now, what I will say is I do think this is going to slouch over time and this leather is going to loosen up and soften even more. So you may this may benefit from some sort of organizer if that's something that will bother you, where you can kind of keep the bottom flat and keep some of the shape so that it doesn't get so slouchy. I love slouchy bags. So I am really excited for this to soften up and become just more malleable and squishy under the arm. I love it. So the sides they have made out of suede and this suede is a slightly different orange. It's a little bit lighter, but it's still very neutral, very soft to the touch. Now I have mixed feelings about this. I love suede as much as the next girl. It's so nice and soft to the touch. I, I, you know, I'm like a very sensory driven person. So I'm always smelling my handbags, touching my handbags. It's, it's a whole experience for me. So I appreciate kind of the warmth that this adds, but it also adds a layer of difficulty in terms of taking care of it, making sure you don't get it wet. This is gonna start looking dirty at some point if it's your everyday kind of throw around bag. So. The good thing about suede is you can clean it. There's cleaning products out there for suede. There are suede brushes that do a world of good to restore suede, but it's just a little bit more delicate than something like pebbled leather. I almost wish they had just done the whole bag in pebbled leather and maybe made this a lighter orange pebbled leather. So you still get that kind of tonal effect, but at a lower maintenance level. That's just my take on it. I also have an ED and it also has suede on it and I carry it quite frequently, but it is a darker color suede because it's that dark plum color. So maybe I worry about it less than I would something like this. Just something to keep in mind, especially if you're the type of person who doesn't really want to be careful with your handbags. So you can see um, the trim is all done in this lovely light brown color, which sets off the orange all the way around. You have a back outside pocket Yes, thank you, coach. And it is zippable, double bonus, zippable outside pocket, love it. And my smartphone fits in here. It's a miracle. They are listening to us. This is what people want. You want easy access to your phone. You don't have to keep it zipped. You can just throw it in and out pretty, pretty easily. The interior lining is black. And so you don't need to worry about it looking dirty or anything like that. And then you have the straps here, which are very adjustable, which is another win. Thank you, adjustability, I love it. They're all attached with buckles. There's three different strap length settings. So depending on your personal size, how you like your bag to hang, if you're trying to wear it on your arm or your shoulder, you can adjust the heck out of this and get a lot of different strap lengths which I absolutely love that they have done because I know sometimes it, for me, it gets annoying when 
I'm stuck with one strap length and it just doesn't work for me, but I love the rest of the bag. So love it. Thank you, coach. The last thing I want to point out is the beautiful brass hardware. You know, I'm obsessed with coach's brass hardware. I think it looks so good. And especially with this um, burnt orange color and the brown trim, it just looks so like fall to me. It looks almost vintagey to me. I really, really like that they chose to go with the brass trim on this color. So let me show you how it's set up. It's going to look very familiar if you're a coach fan. We've seen it a million trillion times from them. You have the two open outside pockets and then you have your inner compartment that is zipped. And it's such a great setup. So practical. You have your easy access areas and then you have your secure area where you can put your wallet or your phone if you don't want to put it on the outside. And it's just such a great setup. I absolutely love it. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea because some people just like one area to throw everything. They don't like having to sort into three different compartments. So just think about how you like to set up your handbag and if it would annoy you if you're having to reach into multiple places to get things. I'll also, I also want to point out that the interior of the side compartments is also suede, which once again, I have mixed feelings about. It adds an element of luxury when you reach your hand in and you feel that suede and it just feels so luxurious. It, it definitely makes me believe in the price point a little bit more that it has this suede interior. It makes it a little nicer, a little high quality, but once again, it's gonna make it a little bit more high maintenance. You're not gonna wanna spill in here. I would be wary about putting certain things in here just because of the suede. Now the inner compartment is a nice nylon fabric. So this is very stain friendly, wipeable, um, definitely your area where you're gonna wanna put things that maybe you're a little bit nervous about, makeup and stuff like that. Um, I will say the suede is a nice dark color and so is the nylon fabric. So that is gonna help with things like staining and with um, hiding a multitude of sins. So I'm glad they went with a dark color for the interior. Now, let me show you how I would personally fill this up if I were going to carry it. And I've pulled out a couple things I don't normally carry, but I get asked about a lot. So in the center compartment, I would definitely put a full size wallet. You know, this is a big style. You don't need to carry a dainty wallet with you. You can go with something full size. Fits in perfectly fine. Not an issue in terms of the opening or anything. Sorry, yeah, this is like... It is a little floppy with these like straps, but I think it's just because I haven't used it a whole bunch. So the straps are still trained to flop over the bag because that's how it was shipped to me. So I think over time, the straps are gonna kind of mold to your shoulder and end up standing up straight. I'm just still working on it. So excuse this, the floppy straps. So I would put the my wallet in here. Um, what else would I put in the center? Probably smaller items. There's a little slip pocket in here. So I'm gonna put in a lip product. I'm going to put in a hand sanitizer. I'm going to put in my eye drops I always carry. Also in the center compartment because I don't want it to get lost in the back. I'm going to put my car key fob and I'm going to put my mask because we're back to wearing masks here where I live. And that's how I would, that's all I would probably put in the center compartment. You could see I could fit tons more, just tons. This is a very spacious style. Now let me show you in the outside compartment, I would put an umbrella. I could also fit, I'm going to put in the other compartment, side compartment, a full size water bottle. Okay, hold on. I got to show you guys something here in a minute. So that goes in, no problem. You can lay it down. And then on top, you can put a couple of other things. I got a tiny pouch. And let's see my sunglasses. Let's put those in on the other side. Now, the one thing I want to show you guys is when you do fill this up, there's a magnetic component that I don't have on some of my other similar coach styles, like my Edie and like some of my rogues that are kind of set up in a similar way. There is this lovely new magnet component they've put in here. So you can keep those side compartments more secure than you could before. You can see there the magnets are closed. So that kind of helps keep your stuff in so you don't have to worry so much about it being open, but it's not as closed as like a zipper. And you also need to be conscious of that when you're filling it up because you can only fill it up so high. It looks like it goes up quite high, but you can see because of this cutout, it actually, you can only fill it up to about this high if you want these uh, magnetic um, pieces to close. So just something to think about, be aware of. It's still a very spacious style. I think you could fit 
a smaller size e-reader in here. I don't think a full size iPad is going to fit, but definitely something like a Kindle would fit in one of the front or back compartments. All right, so now that I showed you all of that, um, let me go ahead and set up the straps in a couple different ways so I can show you what it looks like against the body in terms of the scale and how the strap sizes work. All right, so the first strap configuration I wanna show you is how it came in the box, and that is with all of these straps attached in the middle hole. So this is the middle setting in terms of the strap drop that you're gonna get here. So let me show, I'm gonna show you my older, other shoulder so you can see better that there is quite a bit of space here because of this kind of scalloping that they have put on the edge. It molds really nicely into the body. It gives you extra space here that you wouldn't have if, it, if they had cut it straight across. And I just love these style shoulder bags from Coach because of the tapering. So you can fit quite a bit here in the bottom section, but because of how it's tapered and it kind of all snaps together at the top, it fits so well underneath the arm and then it kind of flares out where it naturally hits your hip. So these are some of my favorite shoulder bags of all time because of that. So I'm gonna change the straps so they're all on the longest setting so you can see what that looks like. Okay, I am back. I've put these all on the longest setting and let me tell you one thing, it wasn't easy. I had to struggle with these a little bit. I feel like the buckles are just a little small in terms of the um, width of the strap, but I was able to do them all. It just took a minute. So it's not something you're gonna do super fast on the go, or maybe you'll be able to once the straps kind of loosen up a little bit and become more malleable. But let me show you what the strap top looks like super generous, great strap drop. You know, I would probably wear it on the longest setting in the winter when I'm wearing a winter coat and I have maybe a sweater and a coat and then I'm trying to wear this on top and I just have less space to work with here. I think the longest setting would come in super handy. I like it on the middle setting better if I'm wearing just a t-shirt like I am today but it's nice that you have that adjustability and I know everyone's different in terms of how they like their bag to hang. So it's nice that they thought about actually having the adjustable straps. So there's a shot there of the drop. Now let me change it over to the smallest setting and I can show you what it looks like on the arm. All right, here's what it looks like with the straps on the shortest setting. You will have these little flaps here if you decide to carry it this way. I think as long as you kind of keep them smooth down to the edges of the bag. They're not as noticeable as I was thinking they were gonna be. So let me show you this as an arm carry style. If you're somebody that loves doing arm carry, I think this is a little big for that, but honestly, it looks really good on the arm. It's just a little bit heavy for arm carry. Let me show you it on the shoulder. I think it's just a little too short of a drop for a shoulder carry, but if you're somebody that's super, super petite, this might work really well for you shoulder carry. It just doesn't work super well for me. I think it's a little bit too high up in my armpit and too hard to see in the bag like this, but definitely looks great on the arm like this. So that's the end of my review of this Lori shoulder bag from Coach. What are my final thoughts? I love this bag. I love it because I feel like I've owned it before 10 times. Um, it's the same setup from Coach that I love. and. That's why I think they keep doing it because people like me keep coming back and seeing something that's kind of familiar with a little uh, different twist on it. And we know that we love this setup and we just keep buying it. I mean, it's a great marketing strategy and honestly it works cause like I'm their worst victim. I love this setup from Coach and I'm gonna keep buying it. I think it's a great style, so practical, so casual. Um, it is definitely a beautiful, beautiful color. If you're open to an orange bag, I would definitely go check out this Canyon color. It is totally gorgeous. I would say my only cons are the straps are a little fussy, but at least the functionality is there, which I really appreciate. Um, I'm a little nervous about this light colored suede. I think I would probably look past it and just try to keep it brushed out and keep an eye on it for staining. I would probably also spray it with a protectant spray just this suede area. I wouldn't worry about the pebbled leather at all. This is gonna be super durable for you. Um, and I just, should I, I'm struggling with if I should keep it at full price. That's where I'm stuck. I would love to get this on sale for 30% off, but I'm worried with how popular this has been that it's gonna sell out and I'm just not gonna be able to find it on sale. 
So leave your opinion below. Do you think this is worth $398? Or do you think I should return it and wait and hope and cross my fingers that I will be able to get it on sale down the road sometime? All right, thank you guys so much for watching today. If you have not subscribed, please click that little button and subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified of my future videos. I love talking about Coach on my channel, but I honestly have handbags from every different brand you can imagine. So if you just love designer stuff, I know you'll love my channel and I hope you'll come and join me for my future videos. All right, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.